welcome back guys you are watching brothers together i hope all of you are utilizing the available time uh, for your kct 2023 exam effectively but still the time which you will be uh, present at your examination hall the time that 70 minutes wherein you will be having your question paper with you and your omr sheet with you knowing how to utilize that 70 minutes effectively becomes really important and knowing that for entering your examination hall will give you an edge over those people who doesn't know how to use that timing effectively so that is the intention of making this video guys i'll be telling you how to utilize this 70 minutes and in the same way i'll be telling you how to uh, fill your omr too and things like that this video is brought to you by college those some of the students who are currently studying in the top nits and iits of this nation have come up with a whatsapp community called college those and in this through WhatsApp, they are planning to give you exclusive KCET updates. So that is something we people look forward to during our KCET times. And again, adding to that, they are also providing uh, counseling tips for KCET through the same platform. You are fortunate enough to have it and you can just join it by just clicking the link which I have already given in the description guys. Yeah, with that note, let's start this video guys. First thing you have to do is to divide your uh, 70 minutes into 3 slots. Yes guys, the 70 minutes which are available with you must be divided into 3 slots. So the 3 slots, uh, there is no particular timing which you have to allot to the 3 slots but it depends on each and every individual. So the 3 slots, let it be be named one two and three in the first slot all you have to do is to go through the question paper correctly one by one once you receive the question paper there will be 70 minutes with you so that is a whole lot of time to solve those 60 questions which are coming there that will take around five to six minutes of yours and uh, that will give you a brief idea of how the paper is and what kind of questions are there and what kind of questions may take a lot of time and what kind of questions may be solved easily you'll be getting a brief idea and you'll be having a brief layout in your mind about how to go about in this uh, next 50 to 60 minutes present with you once you are done with that first thing you have to do is to go from question number one yes guys go from question number one and now in this first slot you have to do three things guys the first thing is if you know the questions correctly if you know and if you are damn sure about your answer then you should be giving a double tick to the uh, option present there suppose there will be a b c d in your uh, in your question paper then you should be if option b is correct for a particular question then you should be double ticking b guys so this will ensure you that this is the uh, answer this is the best possible answer for the particular question and around uh, four to five questions you will be solving and in among first five first question and second question you will be knowing then you'll be getting a lot of confidence and moving ahead third question will be will be framed in such a way that you will be knowing the answer but still you will not be sure about it so you uh, being sure about a question and just knowing the answer of a question is different guys at that time what you should be doing is you should be giving a single tick yes guys uh, suppose c is the option which seems correct to you then just uh, give a single tick on c guys you may come across some questions wherein you'll just be blank about the question or else you just won't uh, be knowing the answer at that time just put suppose the question number is seven just put a circle mark over there so uh, this it will be a hint for you that this question you are blank and you just you should need to think about it if you are going across option suppose let the question number nine be framed in such a way that it can be done but it requires a lot of time so let it be uh, there for the later stage of your exam so there there will be these kind of questions guys there where there will be numericals and you will be able to solve it correctly and you'll be knowing the approach which you have to use to solve it correctly but still you uh, won't be in a position to solve long questions right now because you don't want to waste time here which you can be utilized to solve easy questions fastly in that case you just click give a star mark for that question guys so this are the four indications which you need to give in the first slot of your exam wherein you go from question number one to question number 60. After the first slot in this middle thing you should be filling your OMR. Yes guys this becomes really important many of you people may think that I'll be filling the OMR in the end after solving the entire thing so that will lead to a lot of complications. I have seen many of my friends lose a lot of marks by doing this. The questions which you have to be filling in your OMR should be only the questions which has a double tick on it you will have a tendency or the urge to fill the omr for the options which has single tick too because you will be around 70 percent sure about it but just don't do that after your first slot all you should do is to just uh, fill the omr for the questions which has double tick in it now now comes the second slot guys in second slot you should be dealing the uh, questions which you have put one tick 
and the questions which you have given a star mark because these are questions which you will you will be having an idea about and these are questions which can be dealt in the second slot guys once you are done with it once you are done with the second slot i am pretty sure that many of these single ticks and the star marks will be converted into double ticks guys and that is where you have to fill it in your omr then comes the third slot and the final slot guys in this final slot there will be certain questions remaining from this particular part wherein uh, you had solved during the second slot and certain questions will be filled in the omr and certain questions will be left out and adding to that there will be questions which you were blank in your first slot so take these questions go through each and every questions once twice thrice read the question thrice guys because there will be a lot of questions where the examiner will be playing with incorrect and correct so this is where even i became a victim and i don't want you guys to become also so third slot make sure that you arrive to the best possible answer even if it's not the correct answer for certain questions which you are blank try to eliminate options and through that you will be able to solve uh, certain questions in the third slot now after third slot the exercise remains the same just uh, fill it in the omr sheet and in the end even after completing all these three slots there will be certain questions which will still be blank upon then comes your intelligence and then uh, these tricks come into picture guys so give your gut feel and importance too so that will also help you a lot and just arrive to the best possible answer and tick all the best possible answers for the remaining questions by adopting certain methods and then fill it to the OMR sheet so that since there is no negative marking you should utilize that fact to its fullest and solve the entire paper and fill all the options for all the uh, 60 questions which are present and by doing that and by adopting this particular strategy I'm pretty sure that you will be coming out of the examination hall very happily guys now is the time to just uh, know this particular strategy about how to tackle those 70 minutes and then uh, in order to utilize this 70 minutes effectively as i said in the introduction part of the video preparing effectively now also becomes really important have trust in yourself guys the relentless belief in whatever you do in these last two days is the thing which uh, decides what college you are entering and what branch you are entering trust the process rather than the results guys because this process of your preparation is what gets you a seat in your dream college and that is what you ultimately need Share this video with your friends too so that even they'll be understanding how to utilize this 70 minutes to its maximum guys. Hit the like button if you just like this video and uh, if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions then feel free to put it in the comment section guys. And again I have an important announcement for you guys. I have just planned of uh, making a new telegram group for all the KCT 2023 aspirants who are giving their KCT 2023 exam on 20th May so that uh, there will be an environment wherein you people will be able to uh, will be available in a particular place so that I can interact with you and I can help you out in that a uh, place too so uh, I have given the link in the description guys so join it immediately so that even you'll be able to uh, keep in track about all the details about your counseling and the post exam updates yeah with that note this is Ashina Skoda signing off and we are brothers together thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye